In this video I'm going to show you how to use timers uh, within Datascape. Uh, for a change the location we're using here is somewhere called Oka Wood. This is a model we actually created just by colouring in contour lines on an ordnance survey map so as to give us the, the right ground shapes then just applied some smoothing filters and then started adding trees, grass and everything else in the, the areas of interest. So a different way to create it rather than downloading a height map from the internet. So what we're going to do first of all is we're going to set the start point for the exercise and we're going to set that where we are here, so set current location. So that's done. And then we're going to put our props out onto the ground. Just going to keep this simple, so we're just going to have a couple of props here. So we will start off with a question box, which we're going to use to trigger the start of the exercise and then we're going to send the user off hunting for something else so we'll just pick up uh, a little green box here and just change the height of that just to hide it a little bit that'll do us and give the box a name so I'll just call that target and come back to our start box and we'll call that start. Next thing I need to do is actually create my timer. So what we're going to do, typically you'd use timers in a game for say limiting the amount of time that a student can spend uh, trying to do a task before they have to move on to the next one uh, or give them six or seven things to find or do within a certain time period. So what we're going to do here is we're going to give the student something like to say 20 seconds. Just give the timer a name and set the duration of the timer so this is going to be 20 seconds and then we then just like any other node in fieldscapes we then set what actions we want to happen when the timer elapses so what we want to do here is two things uh, first of all we want to put up a message to the user so just use a standard pop-up and Tell them time up, game is over. And we can now choose whereabouts we want on the screen we want the pop up to appear, so we'll put that in the center. We can just preview it, save that. Uh, the second thing we want to do is actually add an action which actually makes the target object disappear. So if I go into uh, the props I've put out, and we should see down here we've got my target and we're going to choose the hide and deactivate. So basically when the timer expires the thing they're looking for is just going to disappear off and out of the scene and save that. Now that set the timer up but it hasn't actually started it so in order to start the timer I just set that up as an action on any ordinary object so we're going to set this up as a touch object add an action so we'll first of all just put a, a prop up a panel up rather just to tell the user what to do your task go find the box you have 20 seconds again choose where we want to put that on the screen save that and now we're going to add the action that actually starts the timer so here you see within our categories we've got timers and here's the timer that I created and we're going to set an action for start at the moment the timers just, are just one shot and you could also have the option to have looping timers so they'll just keep triggering in this case every 20 seconds. So save and close. So that's my exercise created so what we're expecting the student to do is click on the box that'll start the timer they've then got 20 seconds to go off and find the green timer. So if I go into test mode exercise starts click on the box so go find the box, you've got 20 seconds and we'll just walk over to the box but what we're going to do is actually wait for the timer to expire and then see what happens at the 20 second point. You'll notice we've got the duration uh, since the start of the exercise ticking up at the bottom and there's my 20 seconds. Time is up, game is over and if I clear that panel you'll see that the box itself has disappeared. So a brief introduction then to how timers work within Fieldscapes and we'll do more advanced timer work in later videos. Thank you.